The seas around Wales need to be clean, healthy, safe, productive and biologically diverse. They're part of the natural resources that support the way we live and work, a vital economic force, a source of opportunity and an asset we can pass on to future generations. To protect our seas and the activities that rely on them, Wales has 139 marine protected areas. In total, these areas cover 50% of our seas, and each has its own role to play. In practice, protected status means keeping a close eye on activities. It doesn't mean you can't fish there. Use shipping lanes, add marine power sources, or use for recreational purposes. It just means any plans will be carefully assessed, and if there is a risk of detrimental effect, activities may have to be modified, all for the greater good. There are three steps to the network completion project, the first of which is currently underway. The first step, which has already been completed, is to conduct broad searches to find suitable areas for possible marine conservation zones, or MCZs. The JNCC and NRW have identified areas that contain habitats and species for which there is a shortfall in Welsh waters. These broad areas of search cover potential areas where MCZs could be located and are much larger than the MCZs are expected to be. The second step, which is currently underway, is to refine these areas to a number of options where possible MCZs could be located. The Welsh Government are now seeking to have informal discussions with communities and other marine stakeholders about the areas that have been identified in Stage 2. In the third step, the areas will be further refined by drawing up indicative boundaries for possible MCZs. It is at this point that a formal consultation would be introduced. More information on this process will be available soon. Please visit our website for the latest updates.